Let's return to This Week in America. Here's your host, Rick Bratton. Welcome back, everybody. Coast to Coast, This Week in America. Jeanette M. Gagan, Ph.D., is a licensed psychologist with 40 years of experience in clinical practice. She also trained with the Foundation of Shamanic Studies. She's the author of Journeying, Where Shamanism and Psychology Meet, as well as the award-winning book, Grow Up Your Ego, 10 Scientifically Validated Stages to Emotional and Spiritual Maturity, and her third book, The Paradoxical Return of the Feminine, Raising Awareness and Creating Peace, is both a memoir and a treatise. Dr. Jeanette Gagan, our guest on This Week in America. Dr. Gagan, welcome to the program. It's a pleasure to have you with us. Thank you, and I'd like to begin by asking you, what is your reaction to the content of the Grow Up Your Ego book? You know, I love that, and I'm so looking forward to having a chance to talk about that. There are so many things that we all can take out of this in, in real life. In fact, all three books, there are so many so many guides there that will help us as we go through life. And it, you've done such a wonderful job with the books, award-winning books that, you, that you've written. And I'll give you the doctor's website, and of course the books are available at, at the usual places as we go through the program what was the inspiration in, in writing this? I mentioned you've got 40 years of experience in clinical practice. This really comes with a lot of, of real-life experience, doesn't it? Yes, and um, when I was a child, there was a popular saying that children are to be seen and not heard. I heard that many times, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you heard it too. Yes, I did. <laughs> And when a repairman was working on the house, he said to my father, that baby in the crib has been crying for a very long time. And my father replied, that's how we do things in this household. Crying toughens babies. It's interesting because that so often you would hear that as as parents were sort of uh, setting the ground rules for for the kids in the house. What was the inspiration for for writing this series of books? And then later we'll talk about what else you're working on. But these books are are so helpful with the lessons you have in there. What was the inspiration for writing the books? Well, it was because little was known in those years, the 1930s and 1940s, of the importance of bonding with one's children. Fortunately, scientific research definitely indicates there are 10 stages to emotional and spiritual maturity. Related to this, I grew up in a German Catholic family which was religious and not spiritual. Furthermore, their knowledge of human emotions was almost non-existent. Being and showing anger was not allowed. That's interesting. Yes, go ahead, because we, yeah, again, we can relate to this as you're talking about your childhood. Go back and and finish that story, please. When I was in grade school, went to confession, I told the priest, I have bad thoughts every day. When I was four years old, my mother was diagnosed with ovarian cancer and died when I was eight years old. I remember standing at the grave as as her casket was lowered into the ground and thinking, It is she that died and not me. I did feel my father loved me, and in some way we bonded, and I also bonded with my older sister, who gave me considerable attention and encouraged me to become a nurse, as she had done. When I entered Marquette University to obtain a degree in nursing, I saw a Jesuit priest for counseling which was a great help as he explained that many of my concerns were normal and they were not sins. I married a medical student. We had five children and raised them differently than I had been. When the children were almost grown, I returned to college and obtained a degree in mental health nursing, followed by obtaining a Ph.D. in counseling psychology, all of which contribute to a broader scientific understanding of emotions and bonding. Increasingly, I acknowledged my feelings and furthermore learned of the scientific research as given in the Grow Up Your Ego book. The importance of emotions can no longer be ignored, 
Part of our humanness is to feel our feelings, such as anger, and to express it in a way that involves no harm to the self or others. For example, when I discovered I had been betrayed by a colleague in a safe environment, I shouted angry words and beat my arms and hands on a pillow until the anger was released. The Grow Up Your Ego book details the ten stages and also provides information as how to move up through the stages. The first five stages involve bonding with our parents, being self-protective in which the child knows there are rules, yet the main rule is not to get caught. Research shows a number of individuals falter at this stage, and as adults they are deceptive, competitive, and controlling. Furthermore, in the fifth conformist stage, the person copies behaviors of the social group and is preoccupied with appearances, material things, reputation, and thinks of life and relationships in a simplistic way as good, bad, always, never. In the sixth stage, a person develops a growing awareness of her life, appreciates multiple possibilities and situations, believes there are exceptions to rules are possible and has an increasing acceptance of individual differences. The seventh stage is the conscientious stage, when lessons learned during the sixth self-aware stage are applied. Sorting out and discarding what is no longer useful is difficult as we experience the world in a different way than our forebearers. The challenge of shared gender responsibility and risk of emotional intimacy constitutes scarier fair. The H stage is the individualistic stage in which the self is viewed as a unique entity, understands that conflicts between independence and dependence is central to the H stage and values it. The ninth stage is the autonomous stage in which the individual strives to be the most one can be, knows core identity is self-generated. One's perspective of the unique self as self-determined intensifies, values, and pursues self-fulfillment, self-actualization, and self-insight, expects and accepts complexity. Reasoning and analysis are aided by feelings and intuition. Increase in one's capacity to transcend and polarities, integrates experiences from many perspectives. Personal relationships are cherished and accepted as autonomous. Embrace universal social ideas. One's higher development brings one closer to the truth. The tenth stage is a construct aware, universal integrated stage in which one strives to be aware, has the capacity to acknowledge and cope with inner conflict, explores habits and processes of the mind, knows and embraces self-identification as a complex phenomenon, ultimately discovers the mind alone cannot provide what is sought, yearns to transcend the ego. The journey up through the stages may seem lifelong. The journey up through the stages is inward. From within or within, we live in the land we dream of, where ego maturity allows us to be exactly who we are meant to be, where we experience joy and love without bounds, and where hearts are on fire with the compassion to transform the planetary soul. That's all in Dr. Gagan's book, the award-winning book, Grow Up Your Ego, 10 Scientifically Validated Stages to Emotional and Spiritual Maturity, winner of the prestigious Eric Hoffer Book Award. Uh, The book is user-friendly, and each one of those 10 topics, 10 steps that you talked about, we can do an individual program on each of those. They are so important as as to to who we are and how we develop, how we evolve. The time is going so quickly on the program and so much to talk about. You've talked about the... 
the influence your childhood had on you as an author in writing the series of three books that we're talking about. How about being married and raising your own children? How did that influence you as an author? Well, uh, I knew I wanted to raise my children in a very different way than yes, I was yes. raised, and it worked out very well. I think we all, as parents, go through that, okay, if we went through any situations, and, and I did as you were describing, it's like, okay, I think it's time for maybe a different approach. The The three books we're talking about here, and they're all available at uh, Dr. Gakin's website, riochamapublications.com. That's R-I-O-C-H-A-M-A, publications.com. The book's Journeying, Where Shamanism and Psychology Meet, the award-winning book we're talking about, Grow Up Your Ego, 10 Scientifically Validated Stages to Emotional and Spiritual Maturity, and The Paradoxical Return of the Feminine, Raising Awareness and Creating Peace. Is there a common theme in the three books that you've written so far? Yes, I think the common theme is, is uh, the importance of spiritual healthy in one's life and embracing it and living it totally. Well, and you do that so well, and again, the, the books are very user-friendly. You'll find them at Dr. Gakin's website. I'll give you that information as we, as we go through the program. Award-winning book. Out of all of three of those books, and we're talking about Grow Up Your Ego is what we talked about and went through the 10 steps. Are there one that maybe you feel has the most impact on readers that you get the most feedback from? It is Grow Up Your Ego because it's so practical. Well, it is, and we're told things about ego, and we really need to suppress ego. And you give us a very realistic look, a very honest look at how we how we deal with this. And the book is "Grow Up Your Ego." Uh, one of these books you feel could be actually should be required reading for junior high school and senior high school students. Uh, the books all have benefit, but talk about the one book you feel would really be beneficial for young adults who are, who are looking to, to shape their lives? Well, I think it is to grow up your ego. And I, your point about um, having it as a required um, study in, in, say, junior high and high school is very relevant here. Well, and the book is available at all the usual places. The doctor's website is riochamapublications.com. That's R-I-O. C-H-A-M-A, publications.com. You'll find the book uh, uh, at authorreputationpress.com, the usual places, and we'll give you all of that information uh, before we end the program today. I know you give seminars and lectures regarding your books. Talk about that because here's an opportunity for you to to look somebody face-to-face and, and see the reaction, maybe seeing a light bulb go off, an aha moment as you're talking with them. What's that like when you're able to do seminars and lectures? Well, it's very, very satisfying because <clears throat> uh, speaking with people directly and watching how they they are listening and how they're reacting indicates very much that they're being impacted by what I am saying and the importance of it. How important is that? I, and again, I mentioned that to over 40 years of experience in clinical practice, how important is that, not only in dealing with people in clinical practice, but you get questions and you do a q and I'm sure, at some point, or people come up after a seminar or a lecture, and even just seeing a facial reaction. How important is that input from the audience in, in you shaping your messages? Well, when I get such favorable input, it just makes me uh, work harder and... Um, in a broader way to try to reach more people about the message that the book has. Well, all, okay, the book we're talking about specifically is Grow Up Your Ego, 10 Scientifically Validated Stages to Emotional and Spiritual Maturity. The book is uh, informed, it's informative, it's practical, inspiring, it's user-friendly, and it's available. I'll give you that information again before we, we wrap up the interview today, as well as Dr. Uh, Gagan's other books. What are you working on now? I, I don't want to make you work harder. You just mentioned working harder. I don't want to make you work harder or put any pressure on you, but what are you working on now? Any books that you're, you're working on? No. Um, uh, I hope to travel now 
and to give seminars and workshops on uh, Grow Up Your Ego. Well, that would be great at, again, getting out there and getting the message out to people and trying to, growing up your ego. It's a fascinating topic. It's a fascinating book. And to get information on talking to a Dr. Gagan, possibly having her for a seminar or a lecture, a book signing, wherever you are, the website is riochamapublications.com. And I'll give you some information on that. Are you still doing the, the psychology practice? Are you maintaining that at the present time? Um. Not as much as I, I used to because I'm focusing more on getting a, a, the word out there. And I can understand that because it is such an important word. Let's A couple minutes left in the program. How long did it take you to realize growing up your ego, grow up your ego is something that is sort of a common theme with the people that, that you were dealing with in your private practice and felt... I needed to write a book. How long did it take to, to realize a book is needed and to write, write this book, Grow Up Your Ego? How long a process was that? It took me about a year to write the book because as I reflected on my life and what had unfolded, uh, I, I realized the importance of writing it and so didn't do anything else during that time but to write the book. Well, and the book is available, again, at uh, the doctor's website, and I'll give you that here in just a second. But how well, it, It's available on Amazon, too. Out Amazon, I'm sure Barnes & Noble, authorreputationpress.com, all of the places you'll get the book, and I'll spell her name. So if you're going to Google to get information, I'll give you that here in a second. So get a, a, a pencil and, a, and a, a pad handy. So I'll give you that information. How many people do you feel, in fact, when you start thinking about it, are impacted? That we're carrying around uh, sort of this mon- misunderstanding, unnecessary suffering because of, of ego and how we're actually told basically to suppress that. I'm thinking this really touches most of us, doesn't it? Yes, it does. And it holds us back and it's limiting. And here's a book that, again, is user-friendly. This will sort of unlock a whole area of your life that you sort of set aside, you sort of suppress. The book is Grow Up Your Ego, 10 Scientifically Validated Stages to Emotionally and Spiritual Maturity. Now, the author is Jeanette Gagan. That's G-A-G-A-N, a Ph.D., a licensed psychologist with over 40 years' experience in clinical practice. Her three books, the one we're talking about, Grow Up Your Ego, 10 Scientifically Validated Stages to Emotional and Spiritual Maturity. Also, and that's an award-winning book. Also, Journeying, Where Shamanism and Psychology Meet. And The Paradoxical Return of the Feminine, Raising Awareness and Creating Peace. Her website is riochamapublications.com, R-I-O-C-H-A-M-A publications.com. Uh, booking seminars and lectures around the country, book information available there. Book at Amazon, that's easy to remember, Author Reputation Press, Barnes & Noble, all of the usual places. You can get more information at our website. Dr. Kagan, the time went by too quickly. Fascinating conversation. Thank you for sharing some time with us on the program today, and uh, best of luck in getting the word out there uh, in seminars around the country, which I think is such a great way to go because you really can, can impact and change people's lives. Thank you so much for being with us on the program. Thank you very much. It has been our pleasure. Jeanette Gagan, that's G-A-G-A-N, author of the book, Grow Up Your Ego, 10 Scientifically Validated Stages to Emotional and Spiritual Maturity. You'll get information, of course, on our website, thisweekinamerica.us, and the doctor's website, riochamapublications.com, book available at Amazon. We're back on today's program after these messages. This Week in America is online. You can visit our website, thisweekinamerica.us. Scott Pinkerton, associate producer of This Week in America. Jay Anderson, segment producer. Ben Watson, webmaster. Otto Bache, director of engineering and TV production. This Week in America produced and is a trademark of Blue Funk Broadcasting, LLC. For information on all of our guests and to listen to this week's show, our website again, thisweekinamerica.us. And I'm Sean Bratton, executive producer of This Week in America.